hi guys welcome back to our channel again in this video we will see how we can automate the facebook login page so to do this i created a folder this is called selenium python and under this folder we have a drivers folder inside the drivers folder we have the chrome driver i downloaded that from google chrome drivers website and then there is a folder it is called selenium project and inside that i created on file it is called facebook automation.py okay uh, here is the structure and nothing else and for this tutorial i am going to use visual studio code and uh, pip environment if you don't know how to use this thing like visual studio code and pip environment to create this type of folder please uh, see my automation section i will give you the link to check the details please check the video description below for the details link before going to the main video content of this tutorial, I will request you if you are new to our channel or still if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe to our channel. And now let's get started. Based on this folder structure, here is the Visual Studio code. We are seeing that uh, this is the Selenium Python, that is the main root folder here, Selenium Python. And inside this Python folder, Selenium Python folder, we have drivers and Google Chrome driver is there. And then Selenium project and there is one empty file. By, uh, facebook automation.py no, that's all and nothing and i told you i'm going to use the pip environment uh, for this application okay so if you don't know how to use pip environment then you can check my other tutorial i will also give you the detailed description how to use pip environment uh, in this video you can actually check those things okay now let's get started okay so uh, at first we need to import selenium right so we can import uh, selenium by typing the command uh, from selenium then import web driver we need to web driver we need to use web driver okay and here uh, what we have to do after getting the web driver we need to uh, create the chrome object right so we can do one thing we can create a variable driver 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 equal web driver dot chrome and inside it we can put the path location of uh, chrome so here the chrome driver is this location so we have to use basically uh, executable path and then inside it we have to put the path so they have the path is under driver so we can type dot slash driver slash then chrome driver okay that's all so uh, we configured the path of chrome driver so now we can actually open the facebook page so to open the facebook page we have to use this driver object and then we have to use the get method and inside the get method uh, we have to use the facebook url so uh, right now i'm trying to type uh, the facebook url http is then www.facebook.com uh, so i typed three eight t there will be two t okay and this is the url so we can do one thing we can actually remove this thing we can create a variable and then remove this thing uh, from this code block then the code will be uh, this code will be more cleaner so we can type a variable like base url and then inside it we can define the variable uh, i mean the string okay and then we can use this uh, base url variable here okay so now let's check whether this code is executable or not so i'm going to hit uh, this uh, triangle thing to run or you can right click and you can also choose run python uh, file in terminal anything is fine so i'm going to click here and then it will start uh, executing this code and it is opening chrome browser and then it is going to the facebook page okay the code is working fine okay now what we have to do uh, we have to uh, put the username and password right uh, to login and then we have to click on login button okay so we can do one thing we can create a file uh, like config file or we can put this username and password okay so i'm going to create a new file under here so let me create a file so i'm creating a file config dot txt okay so in this, this config file what i will do uh, this is not a text file basically it will be a python file so i'm changing it to py file okay because the python extension is dot pi so here we need two things like username and password so we can do one thing uh, email and then we can type the email address so for my case the email address is like few steps dot email at gmail.com so this is my uh, facebook username and then we have to type the password so we can do one thing we can type the password so here uh, i'm sub typing some garbage password for example that's 
just but you have to put your username and password here okay so i'm not going to show you my password that's why i typed abc something like that okay now let's come here and then uh, here we have to inspect these two elements right email and password so what we can do we can actually inspect right click and then we can choose inspect then the inspector window will be open so we can do one thing we can uh, move it to down then it will be easier okay and then we can actually increase and i can also increase the size so that it will be easier to see okay so now this is the thing basically okay so i just i resize it so that you can easily understand okay so here uh, just inspect uh, the email part first so here we are seeing that this is the HTML code for that input uh, box that means the email uh, and we are seeing here input type equal to email class this thing and name email id email uh, something like that so we can directly use id but i am not going to use id uh, directly we'll use some css selector here in this tutorial okay so here we are seeing uh, that there is an email of id so we can directly use this css selector so to check this thing we can do one thing we can type hash id okay and then uh, not id basically here uh, what is that uh, this is this is email okay so I'm going to copy this thing and uh, typing here and it is perfectly identifying only one element okay so we can use uh, this thing so I'm going to right click and copy this thing I'm going to copy just this thing and then let's come to the code so what do we have to do we have to type driver dot uh, find element by CSS selector we'll use CSS selector because I I'm trying to do the shortcut and then I'm trying to put that thing okay so inside it i'm trying to type this thing okay then it will uh, be able to locate this element and what we have to do after coming here what we have to do we have to type uh, this email field right we have to complete so we have to type the uh, we have to complete uh, this expression by typing send this because we are trying to type something about there okay and inside it we have to type uh, the username right the email address so here the username is here right so we can uh, use this thing so to use this thing at first we need to import that thing so we can do import then config file fig config so this is the config file it is unfig okay so we imported the config file now we can use like config config and then we can use the email address right there is email address it is loading just so cunfig let me check email so it is not loading so what is the problem it is showing some error oh config is actually located in driver so by mistake i actually created this thing. so i'm going to drag this config file and i am putting this selenium posit okay so i'm dragging and dropping it here and it will move it uh, in this selenium project folder okay now we are seeing that it is the same folder location okay so now it will work actually so if we type config then if if we type config and then uh, start typing em then it will uh, show uh, the suggestion so email is there so we can type the email okay now it will able to uh, look at that thing okay now let's come to the second element this is password again inspect i'm going to hit inspect and then we're seeing that here is the so basically this we need to clean okay so now let's come to the password field so this is the password field and we are seeing here also we have id pass you can directly copy and to verify we can use uh, like hash and then we can put it and it is finally able to uh, select that element and we are seeing it it is identified uh, by only one element okay so we can use this element i mean this uh, hash pass so i'm going to copy this thing and let's come to the visual studio code and let's uh, type the next line uh, to enter the password so i'm going to hit driver dot find element by css selector and inside it we have to type uh, that thing and then here we have to type the password changes and then we have to type the password config uh, config dot password so it is actually suggesting it takes some time i don't know why it is so slow anyway we can do one thing we can directly uh, copy this thing copy and then we can paste it so it will be something like that okay and then finally uh, what we did till now we completed this part and this part it will type here and it will type here and then after that we have to click on the login button okay so let's do one thing uh, inspect the login button again now so i'm 
selecting this thing and it is showing that this is the logging button okay so here we are seeing that id u0b so i feel this id is dynamic it's not actually uh, static it, it will change every time i think so so let's better not to use this thing so we can use uh, type submit uh, this thing okay so you use some css selector where uh, it should be something like that okay so what we can do i'm copying this thing okay Control c i copy it and let's check whether uh, this element we are able to inspect it or not properly okay so that is was uh, input type right let me check double double checking so it was input field right so we can type input and then after that inside it we can put that thing and we are seeing that uh, it is able to look at that element and there is only one element okay so we can use this thing so i'm going to select this thing right click and copy i'm copying this thing just okay now let's come to the visual studio code so here is our visual studio code so after uh, putting email password we need to uh, actually what we have to do we have to click here right login so let me write the code to inspect this uh, login button so i'm typing driver dot uh, find element by css selector and inside it we have to type that thing right uh, which we copied uh, this thing for this inspect element right and then what we have to do here we need to click here to log in, right so we can type click there is a function or method we can use this thing okay and that's all so that's all uh, so now it's time to check so here there is one extra parenthesis so let me clean it and save it okay now that's done so let's do one thing let me close this thing control quite and then we also don't need we close this thing and now our script is ready, ready. so i'm going to run this uh, thing so what to do i'm going to right click and then i'm going to choose uh, run python file in terminal and let's see whether it is able to log in there or not okay it's trying to log in it's open the browser it is putting the username and password and then it puts it click the login and after that it is showing the password you have entered is incorrect forgot password okay got it uh, basically what happened i'm showing you uh, here in the config file my email address is correct but the password is not correct so that's why is unable to log in so right now i will change my password but i will skip this video uh, you have to type your own email and password but I forgot that's why it gave me those errors. Okay, so I'm typing here my password now. I just changed my username and password. That means the password which I used uh, previously it was incorrect. So I changed it. Uh, I put the real password and now I'm going to execute this script again. So I'm going to hit this triangle and let's see whether it is able to log in or not. So you went Facebook, you put username, password, and it is able to do. Okay, so now it is showing that it is able to log in. Okay, so here is my account. Okay. If I click here, we are seeing that this is my account. Okay, so in this way, using Selenium and Python all together, uh, you can easily actually automate your Facebook login page. I mean, you can easily log in. Uh, it's very simple and easy. It's only like four to seven lines of code. Basically, this three line is the main important line, and then this two is the common thing you know. And actually, we created it more modular. That's why we put the base URL here, and this is the import lines. Okay, so that's all, guys. Hopefully, by watching this video. Uh, you will be able to automate the Facebook login page uh, and if you face any difficulties or issues or problem uh, please put in the comment section if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching see you on the next video